Freddy, would you like uh, this song to become the, the official song for the Olympic Games in Barcelona in 92? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. really? Thank <laughs> Why not? you. If I don't like this one, I'll write another one for. <laughs> What's up? It's Pluto. Welcome back to Classic Reactions, where we get into classic hits that I've never heard before. Yes, this is another Classic Reactions interview edition. So today we're getting into the dynamic duo. This is Freddie Mercury and Montserrat, both interviewed in 1987. You guys, their chemistry together on stage is amazing. So I'm excited to get into this interview. Let's get into it. I would be Call myself. me Monsi. Okay, Monsi. No, not Super Diva. Oh, sometimes Monsi. Si. Once I say Monsi, then... But not Montserrat. No, no, no. Because okay. the very close friends say Monsi. Yeah, me? yeah. But ah. if I say my, my Super Diva, yeah, my, my baby, my one. darling, all this, <laughs> yes. You know. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I never was so nervous. Phoebe, this is ashtray, huh? Vamos ahora a hacer una entrevista a Montserrat Caballé y a Fred Mercury para Televisión Española. It's already started. Yeah. All right, first thing first. I love the banter back and forth between Muncie and Freddy. You can tell that they're really cool with each other and they're comfortable. And also with Freddy, this is the biggest I've ever saw him weight-wise, but the weight looks good on Freddy, don't you think? Uh, one second. I, because the, empezado, sun, yeah? the sun's going in my... Montserrat, cuando le ofrecieron grabar este disco, ¿conocía ya de antemano la obra de Freddy o se la mostraron entonces? No, conozco la música de Freddy desde hace muchos años porque mis hijos son grandes adoradores de su música y de él y en mi casa siempre ha sonado su voz y sus canciones. Por lo tanto, era familiar en mí el estilo y también la suave y al mismo tiempo imperativa melodía que él hace y posee. Y cuando me ofreció eh, esto me pareció casi increíble y estuve muy emocionada de ello y encontré que la música era maravillosa. Cuando se sentó al piano y tocó para mí todas sus obras y todo lo que él piensa componer para nosotros, me pareció maravilloso y sobre todo porque es un músico tan excelente y es un músico que en la composición realmente es maravilloso, es magnífico. Freddy, en in la entrevista the video in the weekly information you said you like very much Montserrat Caballé was in that moment when you decided to make the record together or the idea came beforehand um well at that time I mean th they asked me who I who, who was my favorite singer and I, I said Monty you know and I, I I told them that um I didn't say that just because I was in Barcelona because it sounds corny but then after that, I mean, it was like a dream come true. You know, it was like a dream at the time to actually, um, uh, well, of course, I thought about it. I thought, I wonder if our voices would match or whether she would accept or anything. And I think the rumor went round from the record company and friends and everything. And I think she was approached or asked or whatever. And she said, yes, it was just one of those things. And then I went, I came to Barcelona to see her for the first time. And I played a few tunes and she liked it. Now she's a rock and roller. <laughs> ¿Cómo fue la propuesta para hacer esta canción, Montserrat? Musical. Your proposal was a musical one. <laughs> yes, yes. Y fue encantadora porque, como Freddy dice, vino a Barcelona y su música sonó, su melodía, su creación, y me cautivó, me cautivó completamente. Freddy, what do you think this record is going to mean in your career? Well, I mean, I don't know, at the moment it's not out, I don't know what it's going to do to my career, but I know that as far as <laughs> it might go completely down, I don't know. Wow! No, no, no. Well, no, I, I think it's it's just like a dream come true personally, see? And I think it's going to, it means a lot to me because I've, like, uh, finally done something that I really wanted, is to sing with her. And to me, it's like, blown my mind, you know, 
and um, at the moment I still don't believe it's happening. You know, I could keep touching her, but she's here. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know, was Muncie a huge artist in Barcelona? It seems that Freddie was a big fan of hers, and I can't blame him. Her voice is amazing. So um, I think career-wise, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just so proud of the fact that um, I've actually done it, you know. Because I remember when we were actually um, like rehearsing and doing things, I still thought it's not happening. And finally, when she recorded, when she came to London and recorded, and I finally got her voice on tape. I thought, now that's it. I've, I've got it, you know. <laughs> and uh, so then now she, she can't run away. I got the voice. And um, and I just hope there's some better things to come. You know, cause we, we're going to sort of do some more things. This is just the first one. And wait till we listen to some, some of the other ones. We're working on them. So, did they go on to make a lot of music together? Did they only do two songs? Hmm. Monserrat, esta es la primera vez que usted graba un disco de este tipo, sí. de estas características. ¿Por qué? En primer lugar, porque para grabar un, un disco de este tipo, con un background muy musical, y solo una persona muy musical podía acercarse a mí. Eh, no es eh, orgullo, pero sí es una constatación. Y yo puedo asegurarles que cuando Freddy se sienta al piano y comienza a improvisar su, la melodía que le nace y que crea, es maravilloso. Él me regaló la música de eh, Vocalize of Love que yo canté en el Covent Garden de Londres el 29 de marzo y que el público inglés encontró que era una locura, es su música, que la rehizo para mí, para mi voz, y que la canté con una gran ilusión y verdaderamente tuvo un grandioso éxito en Covent Garden. A mí me parece que la creación de Freddy mm -hmm. es de una música muy especial que nace del corazón, para el corazón. Yo creo que tal vez por esto ha llegado a mi corazón. Freddy, I sing your music. Come mm. from your heart. That's why it came yeah. to my heart. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> emotional. Yeah. It you were talking about um, everything. You sang it in, 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 in your creation. In, in, in come, come All the way, yeah, bro. Yeah, but, uh, she embarrassed me to come going because then she announced me, and I was sitting there, you know, with my tuxedo and everything, and I had to stand up and take a bow, and she blew kisses <laughs> at me, and I, I blew kisses back. But the audience loved yes, it. They were went crazy saying, what, at what the Royal Opera on? House. <laughs> Freddy, before the rehearsals started, what was the thing that worries you the most? Before what the rehearsals, that? well, about the record, or before you started really recording the record, what worries you the most about it's, this record? Well, nothing. I mean, I, I was just very excited, man. I just wanted to make sure that everything turned out right. So I took a lot of um, time and pain over it. You know, I mean, it was like, this is the first time I've actually uh, written for say her voice and everything because before i mean it's easier just to write for my voice because i know and so i had to sort of really sort of do trials like i even sort of sang hi you know trying to imitate her voice um, to see if it would fit you do it very well yeah so sometimes it was quite good <laughs> and um so it's it's sort of it's a different approach you know so i mean yeah. it's um like it was risky because i mean i didn't um quite know whether she would like it or or not and so we had to sort of just hope that she would like, but she changed a few things. You know, it wasn't like that she had to sing everything I said. And um, the thing I want in the end is that for the both of us to be happy, because when we're happy, then it'll come through in the music. And um, uh, I think, you know, the people have to listen to it and then make up their own mind. A usted, Montserrat, le preocupaba algo? So as I sit and reflect, I never put a lot of thought into how great Freddie was as a songwriter. Only because his performance, his vocals, everything else about him was so powerful. Sometimes you forget that he is such a immensely talented writer. So my question is, did Freddie ever write for other artists? Obviously, he just said that he wrote for Muncie. You guys, did he write any other hits that I may know or that I should check out? Estar 
dentro de la música no, pero sí me preocupaba eh, poder interpretar bien su música, hacerla de una forma verdadera, sentida y sobre todo eh, de una forma que las dos voces juntas eh, pudieran mezclar bien y al mismo tiempo tener la expresión, porque cuando, eh, por ejemplo, él tuvo la gentileza, we have the gentles, mm -hmm. eh, de dedicar este primer este, eh, cosa que hemos hecho y titularlo Barcelona mm -hmm. y hacer unas uh, lyrics, unas palabras muy bellas mm -hmm. de nuestro primer encuentro y de la Barcelona que se abre al mundo y invitar a todo el mundo a que venga. Yo le estoy profundamente agradecida, Freddy, Freddy uh -huh. que ha hecho este homenaje a la ciudad en la cual yo he nacido y también he encontrado que los versos que empiezan con una gran suavidad y armonía, eh, a medida que el canto procede, eh, tienen una gran fuerza y una gran expresión y terminan con un clímax muy entusiasta y out of this world. <laughs> Freddy, would you like uh, this song to become the um, the official song for the Olympic Games in Barcelona in yes. 92? Yes. Oh, yes. really? Thank <laughs> <Why not>? you. <laughs> yes. That's uh, wonderful. I have, I have to take it. But if they don't like this one, I'll write another one. So. <laughs> But I mean, you can't go much stronger than just saying Barcelona. I mean, it, it, I mean, it tells you everything, doesn't it? I mean, it's sort of right there. So, um, well, I hope the people in Barcelona, or in fact, everybody, I hope they like it. ¿Qué le parece Montserrat la presentación aquí en Ibiza en vez de Barcelona, la presentación oficial? Me parece muy bello porque han sabido escoger el lugar apropiado, tal vez, porque indudablemente el mar es nuestro mar. Y también el aire es nuestro aire. Por lo tanto, esta zona mediterránea nos trae tantos recuerdos de todo el litoral catalán. Por lo tanto, a mí me parece una maravilla haber escogido este lugar y al mismo tiempo porque tiene un gran encanto y una gran atracción indudablemente de todo, todo lo que procede al Barcelona canto, a nuestro canto a Barcelona. I just asked Montserrat what she thought about uh, doing it here. I mean, this official opening of the song in the city of Barcelona. What do you think? You guys, Freddie is bilingual, right? He could understand both languages or no? Oh, well, I mean, um, it, it, to me, it doesn't matter. I mean, you have to start somewhere. I mean, we can go and do it in Barcelona. We can do it everywhere. But I think there's got to be a starting point somewhere. So I think... Because in the end, a song's got to be heard by everybody. It doesn't mean that just because we're starting here, that these are the only people that are going to hear it. I think in the end, it's for the whole world, you know. So, I mean, they're all going to listen to it, but we've got to start somewhere. So, I don't mind. What is uh, the next step in your career, Freddy? Some more songs with Monty. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to take up all my time now, I tell you. So, <laughs> so, and I'm quite prepared to do it, you know. So, I'm looking forward to all the... Freddie is so charming and witty. You can tell how she has so much respect and admiration for Freddie. I have to ask, was Freddie diagnosed right here? Because he looks so healthy. Let me know more. That time. Eh, Monserrat, este escenario aquí en Ibiza con la gente joven y este tipo de música que se oye aquí no es mucho con lo que usted está acostumbrada a, a cantar. ¿Cree usted que esto servirá para acercar un poco eh, el canto, el bel, el bel canto a la gente joven? Indudablemente, la gente joven ya viene mucho a la ópera, indudablemente. Y al mismo tiempo, yo creo que este approach entre las dos voces y entre la música hace, una, hace factible ello, porque Freddy ha hecho una música en la cual la voz de soprano se mantiene en una línea, casi diría, de, de bel canto y rossiniana en ciertos mm, aspectos, uh -huh. logrando un mixture uh -huh. que es uh, algo impresionante. Nunca se ha experimentado antes una cosa así. I think it's the first time they experimented something like that. I think really, so, yeah. opera yeah. and rock together, mm -hmm. and 
Especially I love like it. Two, I do love it. Yeah, especially <laughs> two voices, because it's quite uh -huh. unique to have two voices. Like I'm, I'm sure it's like Diana Ross has done it a bit of one, but from complete pure opera to like rock and roll, two mm. very different sides. It's very difficult um, yeah. and, um, for the voices to match. And I think, um, well, I think we've done it. Their voices came together so well. They have very good musical chemistry, and I'm glad that they collaborated. Porque les van a entregar ahora a continuación unas eh, una carabela de plata que es un es una reproducción de la Santa María oh, con really? respecto al aniversario del descubrimiento. Don't go now because they are going to offer you now a silver ship, which is uh, the reproduction of mm. the Santa Maria, you mm. know, in mm. name mm. of the mm. quinquennial anniversary from the discovery of America. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Really? Can you imagine? Very nice. Thank you. Oh. It's nice, mm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's bellissimo. Muchas gracias. Very beautiful mm -hmm. indeed. It's also. Es una reproducción de la Santa María. Está inspirada en los planos del Ajá. que ha sido el gran investigador de, de la Santa María. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que es está, inglés, es This is uh, had the inspiration in who? Los planos del profesor Martínez Hidalgo. The plans of the professor Martínez Hidalgo, uh -huh, uh -huh. which was uh, um, fue, es, fue director del Museo Marítimo de It Barcelona. It was the director of the Museo Marítimo in Barcelona, uh -huh. and after his uh -huh. plans, he was uh -huh. done. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So that was Freddie Mercury in Muncie, interview in 1987. You guys, I really enjoyed that interview. She is so sweet and charming. I could tell that she was a sweetheart. And of course, we love Freddie. What's not to love? He's talented. He's charming. He's humble. 